My name is uh, Kent Thielen. I'm one of the physicians in the neuroradiology division, and I do MRI imaging interpretation on a daily basis here at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester. MRI scan is a test that we utilize to provide images of the brain or spinal cord using a very strong magnet as opposed to radiation in order to produce the images. This test is performed in an MRI scanner. Uh, we have MRI scanners that are local, located throughout our campus, but predominantly they're located for our outpatients in the Charlton North building. This test would be utilized to provide detailed images of the brain or spinal cord in patients who have uh, abnormalities or concerns of possible abnormalities of either the brain or spinal cord, patients with headaches or possible tumors or vascular abnormalities of the brain or spinal cord. It might also be used in patients who have back pain or pain going down their legs related to abnormalities of the spine. There are no special preparations for the test prior to the patient arriving in our department. When they arrive in our department, they would be changed into a special gown. Because of the strong magnetic field, we want to be very safe that there's nothing that might be magnetic. I'd feel very comfortable having this test. I've had this test myself. There's no radiation involved other than the magnetic field, which is not uh, the typical x-ray. So from a patient's standpoint, all it involves is laying down in a cylindrical tube, resting there. There is some loud sounds from some banging of the magnet itself, but otherwise it's just a matter of laying quietly while the examination is obtained. All the images from these studies are reviewed by a board-certified neuroradiologist with special training in neuroradiology here at the Mayo Clinic. After the images are reviewed, a report is provided to the referring clinician. Typically, the patient would find out those results at the time of their next visit with their clinician. The images are reviewed in detail by the neuroradiologist, but there's also a, a team-like atmosphere where the neuroradiologist works closely with the referring neurologist, as well as neurosurgeons or other neurologic disease specialists to, tr to provide as much information as possible to the image interpretation so that we can arrive at the correct diagnosis. There would be benefits to having this study done here in the Mayo system for a couple of reasons. The images would be uh, part of our electronic imaging archive. The physician who's looking at the study, the neuroradiologist, is somebody who spends all of their time in the neuroradiology field, so they have special expertise in this area. And there's also the teamwork part of the examination whereby the neuroradiologist is working closely with the neurologist to discuss the case and provide information related to the case to arrive at the best diagnosis. In addition, we have the most current MRI scanners available on the market with the most current software and imaging capabilities that exist uh, anywhere in the world. That provides opportunity to provide the best chance to figure out what is going wrong with the patient. Another reason why a, why a patient might want to have their study done here in Rochester is that about half of our fleet contains the large bore magnets. These large bore magnets are easier on the patient from a standpoint of less chance for claustrophobia and they provide very high field uh, capabilities so that the images are very crisp. We do about 45,000 neuro MRs e examinations specifically done by our neuroradiologists on an annual basis here in Rochester. There are some patients for which MRI may not be an appropriate examination depending on what prior surgical procedures they have, they've undergone. Um, certain patients who may have had aneurysm clips placed on cerebral aneurysms in the past may not be candidates. Other uh, implanted devices may also uh, preclude imaging with MR scans, but we have a very detailed database base for safety in the MRI suite whereby we can assess the patient and decide which patients uh, these studies would be appropriate for.